Welcome, Argonaut fans, to the Argonaut Weekly. I'm joined here with Coach Sinnott from the men's basketball team. Coach, an 0-2 week this week, falling to Montevallo and Georgia Southwestern. Not exactly what you guys wanted for this week, but, you know, you guys are looking well out there on the court. Talk a little bit about this previous week. I was trying to forget this previous <laughs> week. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, Montevallo beat us like 10 or 11 or something, and and I, I thought I thought we should have done better. I not taking anything away from Montevallo. They worked very hard. Um, we didn't match their intensity, but against um, Georgia Southeast, uh, against Georgia, we, we we for 40 minutes matched their intensity, and that was a back and forth game. And um, I was told earlier this year that they were picked to win their division over there. Uh, so I was pleased with that. Now we've got to go back to their place next week and play them. And their best player, number 21, uh, had a decent game, 14 points, 14 rebounds. But Danny Young from Montevallo tells me he's much, much better than that. So for whatever reason, he didn't really get off on us. Uh, but I'm sure when we go back to their place, they will. But uh, yeah, our four ball clubs, the four teams that we played were two and two. Uh, are, they're all decent clubs, Lynn, Barry, Georgia Southeast, um, uh, Montevallo. Uh, there was no cupcakes, so uh, I would love to be four zero. I thought we should have been three and one, uh, but we're two and two. So and and we've got uh, Southeastern in from uh, Lakeland tonight, and uh, they're very big and uh, pretty good. I mean, they they, they they had New Orleans down by twenty in the first half, and ended up losing by about eight or ten uh, Saturday night to them. And I was talking to their coach after their shoot around, and he said they just, just for some reason, got into a spurt where they just threw the ball away a lot. And he said that they, he, they couldn't stop that. He said they, 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 he'd never seen anything like that from his kids. They just went crazy for about an eight minute period. New Orleans got back in the game, and the momentum carried them over and won the ball game. So it's not an easy game tonight, so we better be ready to play. And we play at seven. So, and on our side, uh, Jamar Moore and, and the. Um, Georgia Southeastern ball game, he, he fell and hurt his neck, and it's real sore right now. So I don't know how much playing he's going to get if he's going to play at all tonight. And Moore was one of those leading scorers for you all season long. He, he's such a big player. You've had 10 players um, being consistent, doing line changes, subbing in five in at a time. You know, that's, that's started to work for you this season. Dustin Clements is having a big year for you all as well. Talk a little bit about the individual performances and, and how much that means to you all's success this season. Well, I think you just nailed it on the head of everything you said. Uh, but the reason we're going five in and five out right now is I'm trying to narrow it down to the top eight players when it comes to conference time in January. And, and it, I got to get to see them play under fire. I get to see what they do. Now, I wouldn't be doing the five and five if I, if I thought we'd get hurt by it because I see we've got one or two or three players that, that, that stand out. And then I, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I don't see a lot of difference in them right now. Maybe there will be, but right now I don't see a lot of difference in there and, and what's going on. So I need to see where we stand. But um, Dustin is playing very well. Uh, Jamar is playing well. Uh, defensively, we're really working hard. Um, uh, Ant, Beasley, uh, some of the guys that came back from last year, Marquise, Mathis, um, they're, having, they're having spurts of being playing well. And then there's spurts they're not doing well. And they got, they, we got, they got to be more consistent to make that happen. Uh, but defensively, I'm pleased with the way they're buying into it this year over last year. A, a very disciplined team this year. You talked at the beginning of the season how you wanted them to work inside out and not throw up so many three-point shots. Y'all were averaging 15 to 16 three-point attempts a game last season. And, and as you know, that's just way too many. Uh, you guys finally got your first three-point attempt off uh, the other night. You know, talk about... How, how pleased you are with the team buying into, you know, your concept and doing, you know, doing it your way and not trying to go out there and shoot up a bunch of threes and, and they're playing inside out like you like. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, Mike Leader, the coach from Southeast, uh, Southeast Georgia, he goes, you know, you tell them not to shoot threes and I'm telling them, no, we'll take what the defense gives you. And last year we had like 10 new faces and those 10 faces had to adjust to a new college, new teammates, because those 10 people didn't know each other. They came from different parts of the country. They had not only just a new coaches, but a new league and everything. Now they're all here and they understand the league, they understand the school, they understand their teammates and everything, and they understand the coaching staff. 
and we did shoot way too many threes last year. We shot 400 some threes, and when things got when they got tired or things got a little hairy, we took the easy route out and just jacked it up. Well, but we're big inside. We go you know six eight, six seven, six seven. So we need to play inside out. But and the one three we took was to beat the shot clock uh, the other night, and and we didn't even come close to that. I think it felt like three feet short. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we got guys on the team that can take threes for whatever reason right now. They're, um, they're doing what they're asked to do, go inside out. And, uh, and, and it, the, the coach from Georgia last night says, I, I watched three films on you guys. And uh, he says, I can see why you don't need to take threes because you're getting those 15, 16, 17 foot jump shots. And that's really right. Now, if you go back and look at a lot of our games, we're within six to eight inches inside the three line taking shots. Mm -hmm. Last year, we'd have backed out purposely to take that three. But we want to win. We don't need threes. I mean, you know, if the threes come, we'll take them. But win is what we're here about, and, and we need to make sure we get it done this year. And uh, I think our schedule is going to prepare us for the conference because our conference is tough. The Argos will be back in action tonight against Southeastern. Tip-off will be at 7 p.m. You can follow all the action live here at GoArgos.com.